Hello, dear masterminds. It's Lulu and I'm baby. Now let's do the air signs. All right. What information do you have for my beautiful air signs? Thank you. Surrender to what is. Surrender outdated beliefs. Beliefs about yourself. Surrender unhealthy relationships. All right. Surrender to what is. Hmm? Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. And surrender unhealthy relationships. Now, surrendering to what is. Many of you may have finally broken free from um, a way of thinking, a way of doing, a way of being. And you may be unsure of... Um, what this is all about what you know what are who are you in this space that you are in right now what are you in this space that you are in right now um, with this surrender to what is I really feel like this is a space in your life this is a, this the time has come for you to be more mindful present and aware right whatever it is that you used to question um you may not be questioning those things anymore whatever it is that you used to like to do and you don't you, you're just like i why don't i like that anymore why did i pull out of that investment why did i pull out of um that partnership why did i pull out of that contract it's just what it is there's going to be spaces where it's not it's important for you to I feel like many of you will get to this space come to this space where you're not asking certain questions right it just is what it is um, especially when it comes to you questioning yourself right and the way that she has her heart her chest pumped out into the universe like this it's like no I'm releasing a lot of the burden I'm, I'm releasing a lot of the pain I'm releasing a lot of the anguish I'm releasing what was this is like residual energy being burned away because of whatever it is that you came out of now you know that you are in a very sacred and safe place now you have risen above so much turmoil, confusion, and so much probably feelings of lack. I don't know your life, but I really feel like you're in this space where you are ready to um, experience this newfound way of life, this new way of being, right? I'm getting excited. Now, <clears throat> surrender outdated beliefs about yourself, boom, right? With that surrender outdated beliefs of, your, of yourself, who you were in autumn, you will not be in fall. Who you were in fall, you will not be in spring. Let's get these seasons together, bitches, because I don't know. So you can, you know, the leaves fall and then the tree blossoms anew, right? In the next season, it blossoms anew, right? Unless it's an evergreen or what have you. I feel, Was that a pecan tree? Does a pecan tree stay green all year? I don't know. Moving forward. So you're in a space where... You no longer are who you were. So many of you really have leveled up. You really have taken um, a lot of time to take into consideration that I'm new. I'm refreshed. I'm um, ready for some new creative endeavor, whatever, uh, whatever that is. Because I really feel like who you were... Whether you have empty nest syndrome and you had it for a while, now it's time for you to take on this um, newfound way of life that has to do with it's just you and your husband or it's just you and your wife or it's just you. And now it's time for you to uh, pick up the pieces and, and, and real like there's like this self-realization. Who are you now? You are redefining yourself. There's a new identity unfolding, Right. So who are you in this space, right? And that's why um, when people uh, say that they've always been the same and they'll always be the same, I'm like, how is that possible, right? Because you know you you're a mother, you're a chef, you're you're this, you're that, and then and then what are you? Then you are this, then you are that, and then you are this, right? This is growth. Even if you are a mother and you're a mother for the rest of your life, which you will be, right? But even if you are a mother. The way that you identify with being a mother is supposed to change. That's why some people don't allow themselves to be a different type of mother. The, the, the role changes. The older your children get, you got to pull back a little bit. The older your children get, you have to realize that they are grown. That is no longer your little boy. That is your son. Right? So your role changes. 
That's all I'm saying. Surrender unhealthy relationships. Uh, you are no longer going to be attracting the same types of people. So it's time for you to allow yourself to release those people. You are not who you were. Um, some of you may be outgrowing friends or outgrowing certain accom accomplices, whatever. Um, maybe you got a file partner. But there are some relationships that are no longer um, needed in this new uh, level, this new you, this new way of doing things and who you are. It has to go because what's going to happen is they'll pull, they'll continue to pull you back, and then all of everything that you have going on will begin to crumble because they do not fit into this new way of life that you, um, this new way of being that you are. Um, it, it goes into when you outgrow people and you didn't know that they were toxic because you were toxic with them. So then you outgrow them and you are growing up and now they are mad at you and like, oh, you are so different. And they begin to like put all these, shoot all these darts at you and um, try to pull you back and begin to slander you and uh, no telling what is going on, right? But they try to um, shame you for even growing up. They shame you for not being who you were. You don't have to tell yourself that you are still improved, that you are still who you were when you have changed and you have to let people go. It, it, it just is what it is. Clarify this what is for my beautiful air signs, honey. King of Wands. Hmm? Being very, if this is you, this is you being very passionate, very courageous, standing in your truth to the point where you are directing traffic around this bitch. Now, if it has to do with you um, dealing with a King of Wands here, <clears throat> I, I feel like it's time for you to let that person go or it's time for you to just let this person be who they are and just realize that this is who they are. This may even be an ex-husband for some of you, but this person is going to be who they are and how they are. You just have to learn um, to deal with them with a long handle spoon here. Clarify this King of Wands. He may have used to be a King of Swords. Yeah, this is something that is no, this is a burden. This is something that is just going to be what it is. They have taken you through some things. Now the wheel of fortune is, is uh, shifting, it's turning, and now things are on an upswing, and it's time for something new. It's time for um, to release all of this. Um, with this ten of wands, it's time to let it go, right? It's time to... Um, organize your thoughts right organize the way that you want how you want to be and who you are in this world releasing all of these burdens all the things that you've gone through um you know all of this pressure whatever phase this is it, you you are out of it it's no longer true to who you are with this will of fortune what i'm getting here is that <clears throat> you've um sat in a space long enough, you paid off some karmic debts, and now it's time for you to uh, live in your truth, live in your power, and really, um, it's time for growth and expansion. That's just what that is. Whatever that it means to you. I feel like it's spiritual for you. I feel like it's something that you have become uh, someone different from who you were, and now it's time for you to let things go when it comes to uh, who you answer to and how you answer to them. You the big general. Moving forward, what is this surrender outdated beliefs about yourself? What is this surrender outdated beliefs? Yeah, see? Ten of Wands came back out. They said that you are wise beyond measure. It's time for you to use that wisdom that has come in. Some of you may even see owls or uh, some bird perched on a fence to remind you that those burdens are not yours or whatever it is that comes to mind when you see the bird perched on the fence. Emperor, you are in charge. You went from a king to an emperor. You are in charge. You get to make decisions. There's no need to uh, go back and forth with yourself. You are in a space of balance and practicality and spirituality. It's time for you to really step forward and, and, and be fully um, aware that you are no longer who you were. It's time for you to um, take into account that it's meant for you to rule over um, all parts of yourself and stop giving out pieces of you um, to people who are not appreciative or who are not, um, that don't have your best interest at heart, right? Here, now, some of you may be in a space where it's a burden because you know that you de are deserving of this emperor, and it's kind of, you're kind of fearful. 
of dealing with this person, but you are no longer who you were. So now it's time for you to step into, yes, you want this person in your life or this type of person in your life, or you may be juggling between jobs here. One of the, um, one job may be run by a C CEO, a CFO who, um, is not as, um, is not as like I feel like you may this, okay so this may be what it is there may be a, a choice that needs to be made when it comes to working for a small company versus some conglomerate or something like that right so you want to be mindful of that here okay but um overall delegate you aren't who you used to be um, it's okay for you to uh, release yourself from any type of relationships with that surrender unhealthy relationships. It's okay to release yourself from those things because you have the power to, um, I feel like your, even your force field, your ability, like there's a lot of strength. Some of you may be so, you may have leveled up to the point where um, you are exuding this power and it may be frightening, right? Um, and it may be frightening other people. And, and that's okay. It happens. So what you do is, you know, just let people be where they are and limit your communication or your involvement with them. Surrender to what is, says, flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it as exactly as it is will bring you peace. Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your own life. Surrender unhealthy relationships. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. Try not to force it. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. All right, y'all. I love y'all. As you see, I got my voice back. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Okay. I am excited about that. All right. I love y'all long time and I will see you on the other side. Mm. Do you live a mindful present and aware life or do you refute, repress, and reset without challenging yourself to heal and grow? I hear people say they want to be a better person and turn right around and refuse to do the work. I too have struggled with this and it became very clear what I needed to do. How often do you repeat patterns of behavior and repeat certain cycles over and over? Do you really hold yourself accountable for your feelings and attitudes? How much longer will you go against the grain and create more damage? I had to learn to incorporate five things to become more mindful, present, and aware. They are patience, forgiveness, persistence, self-love, and stillness. Once I did these things, my life began to change for the better. I now enjoy my process moment by moment, and I teach you this in my journal, a 90-day journal to mindfulness. You can check it out along with my other tools at toolsforintuitives.com.